What a year. Gillette Camel running back Austin Clemenson put together in 2016, and he still has one more year remaining. Clemenson scored a total of 29 touchdowns. He ran for 1,847 yards. He put together 2,540 total yards, averaging 230 total yards per game as he earned all state honors in 2016. Austin Clemenson definitely has next level potential, a great combination of strength and speed. The 5'9", 175 pounder has been a game changer in all three facets of the game. Let's check out Clemenson on defense right here against Kelly Walsh McComb. Boom! Hits him right in the hip. Clemenson's always been a sure tackler. Let's watch Clemenson on special teams from the five yard line on a kick return. Uh oh. Finds a seam down the field, blazing speed. They're not going to get him, folks. He returned that 96 yards. Austin Clemenson, two kick returns for scores this year. One punt return and one kick return. Here's Clemenson again on a sweep. He's got blockers. He's got speed. And he's going to cut back to the left and go all the way to the end zone. Gillette would win this game against Kelly Walsh. Clemenson a big help in this one. Five touchdowns. There he goes again. Stiff arm. Hesitation. Darts ahead again for a score. Clemenson there from 45 yards out. Then it gets central. Showing off his punt return skills. Sets up a touchdown here. Look at that shifty move right there with the juke. Then shows off his speed. Gets a couple of blocks. Down the field. He scores. Gillette would get the lead early against central and get the win. Clemenson. Another opportunity here. Gets the football. Somehow gets out of that pile. Turns on the Jets, cuts out right side, has a blocker in front of him all the way to the end zone. Camels at that point led the game 14-0. Clemenson not done yet. A huge game against Central. Trying to get outside on a sweep. Great blocking up front. Then, whoa, shows off his nifty footwork and gets all the way to the end zone. Austin Clemenson, 24 touchdowns by the end of the 2016 regular season. Just incredible. He leads the state in that category as he gets another score here. He led the state in rushing touchdowns. Also, he led the state in kick return, punt return yards, and return touchdowns. Here he is again, down the field, showing off the speed against the speedy central secondary. It doesn't matter. They can't get Clemenson. Clemenson was huge. He had 38 yards rushing at Laramie in the first half. Then he broke loose in the second half. Look at this run. All the way down, rumbling to the three-yard line. Then who's going to finish off the drive? Well, it's Austin Clemenson. Off of left tackle, finds a seam. You give him a little bit of a seam, he's going to find it. Camels would beat Laramie. A huge second half. They would score in four state drives. Here's another one. Clemenson makes the catch, showing off his receiving skills. Down the field, whoop, cuts back left, gets inside the 10-yard line of Laramie. Then later on in the contest, Gillette pinned back. They're going to play it safe with a screen, right? Well, Clemenson's got a convoy of blockers. He's got some shifty footwork. He reverses field, gets to the other side. Look at that juke move and stiff arm down the left sideline. Picks up a camel first down on third down and long. Clemenson not done in the same game at near midfield. Gets a carry, finds a seam, shows off his skill as far as running hard, barreling over some people there to pick up some tough yardage on that 14-yard run. Then Clemenson showing his finesse, getting outside. Stiff arm, cuts back left, splits defenders. He's going to go all the way down the right sideline and into the end zone. Laramie had issues stopping Clemenson, especially in that second half. Then Keaton Wilkerson to throw. It's nice to have a safety net as Clemenson sneaks out of the backfield, makes the catch, gets into the end zone. Some hard nose running after the catch there by Austin. In the game against Natrona, Clemenson another big day. Here he gets outside on a sweep. He's going to stiff arm, dives for the pylon, gets in for the score. One of his 29 touchdowns on the year. That's just astonishing. Then Clemenson on defense. Watch this. Uh-oh. Oh! Big time hit by Austin Clemenson. You know that one hurt, probably left a mark or something. Now Clemenson, linebacker again, showing off his... Uh, Abilities here to finish off that play as he makes the stop off the Natrona running back. Now back to running the football, his forte. Finds a seam, boom, barrels over defender. Again, five yard gain, hard nose running by Austin Clemenson. He can do it all running the football. Show off his speed, show off his footwork, and then watch this here, following blockers, showing off his great vision. Gets inside to Natrona territory, same game. Clemenson, let's see his receiving skills again. Sneaks out of the backfield, is a screen pass. Lane Tucker blocking in front of him, stiff arm. Down the sideline. Oh, a sweep move on a kid as he gets down for a first down. Now Gillette, another opportunity. A play action pass. Good fake by Clemenson. And watch him. He squirts open the middle of the field, makes the catch. It's a foot race again. You usually aren't going to win that foot race against the junior running back, Austin Clemenson. 
Again, Clemenson sneaking out of the backfield. It's another screen pass, getting down the right sideline. They can't catch him down the side. They have to push him out of bounds near the 42-yard line. And then Clemenson again lined up with Wilkerson. Out in the flats. Clemenson watches. Whoop! Down the field. Oh, upended. He's going to get up, though, really fast after that. He's a tough kid. Austin Clemenson has been banged up, bruised. He carries the football a lot. He has been the workhorse for Gillette. It doesn't matter. He just keeps on going. He's like the Energizer Bunny here in Gillette for the Camels. Now, against Sheridan in a close game, Gillette won this game 24-21. Clemenson breaks loose. He had a big second half against the Bronx. There he gets into Bronx territory. Now again, Clemenson off of the pistol. The give by Wilkerson. Clemenson breaks a tackle, gets outside. Whoa! Shows off another gear as he gets inside the Sheridan two-yard line. That would set up a Camel touchdown. Who would get the touchdown, you ask? Well, that would be number 12 himself, Austin Clemenson. This one might have been his easiest touchdown of the season as Clemenson gets in later on in the same football game. Clemenson on his own read, finds a seam, breaks a tackle. You're not going to arm tackle this kid, folks. Cuts up left. He's not done. He sees blue, and he dives into that end zone. He loves the end zone. It doesn't matter if he's in Gillette, Sheridan, or wherever. Here's Clemenson again. Off of left tackle, great blocking up front. Barely was touched until he gets upended at the Sheridan 30-yard line. Gillette would score on that drive. Then the next drive, Clemenson finding a seam again. Squirts out of the pile, finds a seam, sprinting down the field. Takes three Sheridan Bronx to bring him down. And then Clemenson trying to finish off the drive. Three back set, barrels ahead, gets into the end zone. And the Gillette Camels would beat Sheridan. Then when it was postseason time, Clemenson put together two straight 100-yard games. Here he is against Cheyenne South, gets outside, cuts up field across midfield, foot race, spin move, and gets inside the South red zone. Austin Clemenson did it in a variety of ways. Here he is in the backfield again, pistol formation. Draw play, good blocking up front, patient running, shows off his vision down the left sideline. Ooh, what a cutback from Austin Clemenson as he got into Cheyenne South territory. Then. Clemenson, the deep back again. He was a workhorse for the Camels. Gets a carry off right tackle. Walks into the end zone untouched. Austin Clemenson, 25 rushing scores on the year. Here's Wilkerson in a play action pass. Lobs it. Caught by Clemenson, even though he's interfered with in traffic. Makes the catch after the big hit. And then Clemenson again against South. Gets the carry. He's got a blocker. Just basically shows off his speed. Walks the tightrope all the way into the end zone. Now Clemenson, shotgun formation. Wilkerson back to throw. He's going to lob it to Clemenson. Makes the one-handed grab, and then gets up field, throwing off the soft hands. Clemenson also was a great receiver out of the backfield in addition to running with the football. He was in top 10 this year in receiving when it was said and done. Wilkerson buys time, finds Clemenson again, spins into the end zone for another touchdown by Austin. He does it on special teams, too. We've mentioned it before. Across the 10, 15, showing off his speed, then showing off the footwork, cuts up field. Splits defenders, breaks a tackle, drags a defender all the way into the Detroit territory. Then Clemenson would end up finishing that same drive on a sweep as he gets outside, cuts up after his block by Madden Pakula and squirts into the end zone. Now Clemenson here against the Trona, trying to get outside. Stiff arm, he's so good at those. Hesitation move, gets down the sideline, spin move, has to be caught and wrangled from behind, but not before he got into Mustang territory. Then Austin again on a draw play, right up the middle, showing off a speed. Then you're not gonna arm tackle Austin Clemenson. Impossible. There he had to be drugged down by a Natrona defender. Even though Clemenson had a great performance in the postseason, the Camels did not reach the state championship game. That's the thing Austin Clemenson wants. He wants to get wins, and he wants a state title. You see the amazing stats that Austin Clemenson put together in 2016. But the one stat he cares about is winning. What a dominant 2016 Austin Clements and had for the Camels.